Astronomers using the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, or PANSTARS, detect a mysterious object traveling at high speed through our solar system. While observing the cosmos, it is not uncommon for astronomers to encounter quite strange and eerie objects, or things that put a question mark on what we know. Of these strange objects is the outstanding Oumuamua, which showed in 2017 and is now back with attributes that leave scientists with a flood of questions. What really is this Oumuamua? Where did it come from? And why is it showing up again all of a sudden? Keep watching to find out. The arrival of the Oumuamua into our solar system has indeed opened the eyes of many scientists to reality. All over the world, there is an awakening as mankind has become fully aware of the benefits of understanding the universe. But not only that, we are also aware that ignorance has consequences, which no one would like to bear. In the past few decades, so much has been done to plant man's feet on the ground in space exploration. Satellites have been launched and telescopes have been created, alongside rockets with spacecraft going on missions. As this is so much effort being put in, it is easy to think that we are likely prepared for the worst. But this thought had only lasted until Oumuamua tumbled in on us with such speed, shape, and mystery that tells us that we were never prepared for it. But what is Oumuamua? Though no one knew what it was when it first showed up, it soon dawned on scientists what type of objects they were dealing with. It was nothing known to our solar system but an interstellar object. Amazingly, it wasn't discovered by any space telescope, but was caught in sight by Robert Wirick using the PANSTARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii on October 19, 2017. It is not strange that this telescope discovered Oumuamua, since the PANSTARRS-1 is no ordinary telescope. This telescope is equipped with advanced technology allowing it to scan large portions of the night sky rapidly without having any problems with atmospheric hindrances. When it picked up on Oumuamua, scientists were thrilled and puzzled, as the cosmic wanderer was unlike anything we had seen before. Interestingly, Oumuamua means scout or messenger in Hawaiian, and it lived up to its title. Estimated to be tens of billions of years old, this strange visitor had arrived from outside our solar system zipping through at an incredible speed of 196,000 miles per hour, 87.3 kilometers per second. Its funny-looking shape and strange trajectory left experts scratching their heads. Was it a comet? An asteroid? Was it an alien spacecraft? Nobody was quite sure. The excitement around Oumuamua's discovery soon spread like wildfire in the scientific community as observatories worldwide joined the hunt collecting as much data as possible during its brief visit. Before completing its visit, the strange object made an astonishing close approach to the sun, and yet wasn't sucked in. This caused more questions to arise on what Oumuamua was. After analyzing its trajectory and velocity, scientists concluded that Oumuamua originated from outside our solar system, somewhere in the vicinity of another star. It entered the solar system from above the plane of the planets, swung around the sun, and then departed on a hyperbolic trajectory which showed that it was headed back into interstellar space. Oumuamua's visit to the solar system was brief, and it moved too quickly to be captured by the sun's gravity. It made its closest approach to the sun, perihelion, on September 9, 2017, and then sped away from the solar system. Indeed, the object's peculiar characteristics and unexpected origin has puzzled astronomers ever since. But what characteristics of the Oumuamua leave scientists puzzled? When encountering Oumuamua, the first noteworthy thing is its strange and abnormal lieu and shape, different from anything known in our spherical solar system. For the citizens of the Milky Way solar system, it is usual to encounter space objects that are spherical in shape. This is a result of gravity pulling in from various planets within. But the Oumuamua shape is nothing like that of objects born within this solar system. But how did it look exactly? Based on its brightness variations, Oumuamua 
seem to have an elongated and irregularly shaped structure, which is described to be that of a cigar or a pancake, with a length to width ratio of about 6 to 1. This is the very beginning of its uniqueness, as many other mysterious features of the Oumuamua lies underway. So many speculations have erupted already from the mysterious shape of Oumuamua. According to some, it may have been a product of some sort of collision in space, or might be debris from the early stages of the formation of a new planet. With their unique look, the cosmic needle-like objects still had many things that made them very mysterious. Most interestingly, Oumuamua is said to have a single-like shape and a reddish tint, making it a complete space cigar indeed. There are a few theories why Oumuamua might have a red tint. One possibility is that it is made of a carbonaceous material, such as a comet nucleus. Another possibility is that Oumuamua is covered in organic molecules, which can also have a red tint. However, it's also possible that the red tint of Oumuamua is due to something else entirely. For example, it has been suggested that the red tint could be caused by radiation damage from the interstellar medium. In addition to its weird shape attributes, Oumuamua when sighted did not move normally, but was rather found to be tumbling through space. This was quite unusual compared to other moving space objects, and scientists tried to explain this in different ways. Some have developed ideas of a binary system, where two objects are found orbiting around each other. To create a tumbling effect, one of these orbiting objects had likely pulled away forcefully from its companion, causing it to tumble through space and into our solar system. Now, the weirdness of Oumuamua continues, as scientists also observed that Oumuamua exhibited a non-gravitational acceleration. After analyzing its trajectory, researchers noticed that it deviated slightly from what would be expected based solely on the gravitational forces exerted by the Sun and the planets. This change in its speed, as well as its deviation from the course of gravity, is known as a non-gravitational acceleration. Now, when objects like Oumuamua pass through the solar system, their motion is influenced by the Sun and the planet's gravitational pull. Because of this, astronomers can predict their trajectories based on these gravitational forces, and the objects should follow predictable paths. However, in the case of Oumuamua, astronomers noticed that its motion deviated slightly from what was expected based upon gravitational forces alone. This deviation suggested the presence of an additional force, hence the term non-gravitational acceleration. The leading explanation for this non-gravitational acceleration was related to outgassing. Here, it is said that Oumuamua approached the Sun. Its surface would have been heated by solar radiation. This heating could cause ice and volatile compounds on its surface to vaporize and turn into gas, which would then be expelled from the object. As gas was ejected in one direction, it acted as a tiny rocket engine, providing a slight thrust in the opposite direction. This thrust resulted in a slight acceleration of Oumuamua, causing the observed deviation from the purely gravitational trajectory. Imagine it like a comet. When a comet gets close to the Sun, the solar heat causes the icy nucleus to vaporize, and the expelled gas and dust create a glowing coma and a tail. Similarly, Oumuamua, although not a comet, could have experienced a mild version of this process, leading to the observed non-gravitational acceleration. While the nature and source of Oumuamua's non-gravitational acceleration may still not be definitively determined, the outgassing hypothesis was one of the most plausible explanations based on the available data. Also drawing attention to the strange Oumuamua was its reflectivity, also known as its albedo which was known to be quite low. This means that it did not reflect much light. To the amazement of scientists, Oumuamua reflected only 5 to 10 percent of the light that hit it. This is outstandingly low compared to other space objects' usual reflectivity. As astronomers observed, it exhibited an unusual faint and variable brightness. This characteristic made studying challenging, as its brightness changed rapidly as it tumbled through space. The exact reason for its low reflectivity is not definitely known, but a few possible explanations exist. One possibility is that Oumuamua's surface 
was made of dark, carbon-rich materials. These materials absorb more light and reflect less, producing a low albedo. Another hypothesis is that Oumuamua could have a thin coating of volatile ice on its surface. As it approached the sun during its journey, these ices might have sublimated, creating a temporary atmosphere, coma, that obscured the object's true surface characteristics. Prolonged exposure to cosmic rays and solar wind in interstellar space could have caused space weathering on its surface. This process could have darkened the surface, resulting in low reflectivity. The irregular and tumbling motion of Oumuamua might have exposed different areas of its surface to our telescopes at different times, leading to variations in observed brightness. Despite the low reflectivity and the mystery surrounding its exact nature, astronomers could only study Oumuamua briefly before it left our solar system. However, its peculiar properties and limited observation time have led to ongoing debates and discussions about its origin and nature among the scientific community. Among all these, these numerous debates are the question of what exactly Oumuamua is. Let us look at the first heated debate that arose about the Oumuamua. Is it a comet or an asteroid? While it had been established as an interstellar object, scientists still found it difficult to place their hands on exactly what the Oumuamua was. To answer this question, scientists have come up with so many speculations. Among these speculations was the debate about the Oumuamua either being a comet or an asteroid. This confusing debate has led scientists to closely consider the ready facts. Now, is Oumuamua a comet or an asteroid? Actually, we cannot have the answers if we don't understand what these items are. Comets are icy bodies that develop tails as they approach the sun. This tail is known as a coma, a visible cloud of dust and gas that surrounds the comet's nucleus as they approach the sun. This coma is formed due to the sublimation of volatile materials from the comet's surface. Now, this is what majorly differentiates the Oumuamua from a comet. No visible coma was observed despite its proximity to the Sun during its passage through the solar system. As for asteroids, they are mainly rocky objects. According to scientists, Oumuamua is also not an asteroid. And here is why. First, the shape of Oumuamua sets it apart from most known asteroids. This is because its elongated cigar-like shape differs from the more common irregular shapes or rounder appearances of asteroids. Another difference is that asteroids are gravity-bound, while the Oumuamua is not. But if Oumuamua is neither a comet nor an asteroid, what is it? In the end, the confusion about the Oumuamua not being an asteroid or a comet has made some scientists speculate about the possibility of it being an artificial object, such as a probe sent by an extraterrestrial civilization. Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist at Harvard University, is the most prominent proponent of this theory. Loeb and his colleagues have argued that Oumuamua's unusual shape, high speed and acceleration, could all be explained if it was a light sail, a type of spacecraft propelled by sunlight. Other scientists who support the alien probe theory include Shmel Avatel, an astronomer from the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel, and Alberto Caballero, an astrophysicist at the University of Vigo in Spain. However, most scientists have remained skeptical of the alien probe theory. These scientists have all pointed to the unusual properties of the Oumuamua, such as its elongated shape, high speed and acceleration, as evidence that it is not a natural object. They have also argued that the alien probe theory best explains these properties. In the end, the scientists opposing this notion argue that there are more mundane explanations for Oumuamua's properties, such as the possibility that it is a comet stripped of its volatiles or a natural asteroid elongated by its rotation. So what next? Even though the speed of the Oumuamua makes it unique, it might not be such a good thing for us, as it implies that the Oumuamua might be slipping off the observing eyes of scientists even before there is a chance to understand what it really is. The reality of this has created concerns among scientists, currently doing all they can to gather as much information as possible from the Oumuamua before it finally disappears into the cosmos. One thing that has been instrumental to the information currently being gathered from the Oumuamua is the James Webb Space Telescope. Indeed, the Oumuamua had first been sighted 
by the PanStars-1. The James Webb Space Telescope soon took over, proving crucial to the study of the Oumuamua by capturing its precise and clear images. In case you didn't know, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a space-based observatory and the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. It was named after James E. Webb, a former NASA administrator, being a joint project between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, where it was launched on December 25, 2021. The abilities of this telescope will astonish you. First, the telescope is equipped with advanced technology, including a 6.5-meter diameter primary mirror, making it the largest space telescope ever built. Its main advantage is its ability to observe the infrared spectrum, allowing it to see through dust clouds and observe visible light. These features enable JWST to study the formation of stars, galaxies, and planets, even in the early universe. The primary scientific objectives of the JWST are to study the first galaxies formed in the early universe, observe the formation of stars and planetary systems, investigate the properties of planetary atmospheres, including exoplanets, and study galaxy evolution and supermassive black holes. For this, the JWST has been positioned at the second Lagrange point, L2, around 1.5 million kilometers, about 932,000 miles from Earth. This location allows it to maintain a relatively stable position concerning the Earth and the Sun. After its launch, the JWST underwent a series of complex deployment procedures, including unfolded its sun shield and aligning its mirrors and instruments. It took several weeks for the telescope to become fully operational and is designed to function for at least 10 years. With its infrared capabilities and sophisticated instruments, JWST has revolutionized our understanding of the universe, providing valuable insights into the formation of celestial objects and potentially detecting signs of life beyond our solar system. So far, though, the James Webb Space Telescope seems to have done a good job in capturing images and data that have proven very helpful in the understanding of the Oumuamua. A bigger project seems underway to even fully push our understanding of not only the Oumuamua, but of all the interstellar space objects that have plagued our curiosity. We are talking about Project Lyra, this feasibility study of a mission to interstellar objects such as 1 Oumuamua and 2 Borisov, initiated on October 30, 2017, by the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, I4IS. The project aims to assess the feasibility of a mission to these objects using current and near-term technology and propose mission concepts for achieving a flyby or rendezvous. The challenge of sending a spacecraft to an interstellar object is not easy. Already, the Oumuamua has hyperbolic access velocity of 26 km per second. This translates to a velocity of 5.5 AU per year. Judging from this speed, scientists say that it will be beyond Saturn's orbit within two years. This is much faster than any object humanity has ever launched into space. So how does the project intend to catch up with the Oumuamua, you may ask? Actually, Project Lyra has considered several different mission concepts. This includes a flyby mission using a gravity assist from Jupiter to reach Oumuamua. Another concept would be using a solar sail to slow down the spacecraft and allow it to match with Oumuamua. And another concept here is a simple return mission that would collect material from Oumuamua and return it to Earth for analysis. The project is ongoing and no final decisions have been made about the feasibility of a mission to Oumuamua. However, Project Lyra has made significant progress in assessing the technical challenges. It has proposed several promising mission concepts that are exciting to look forward to. We've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching it to the very end. Do you have any exciting opinions about Oumuamua? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe for more.